All right, cool. So today we have, uh, we're gonna solve for the zeros, find the zeros for the, this polynomial function. Uh, so we'll use the, uh, the sign change rule to find uh, how many zeros we actually have. So as we look, we have one. That's a, there's no change there, no change there, no change there, no change there. But you go from a positive to a negative for this one, so you have one change. So we have one positive real zero. And then to find out how many negative real zeros we have, we'll do um, the inverse function of this. So we'll do h of negative x. So we'll do three negative x to the fourth plus 10 negative x to the third plus four negative x squared plus 40 times negative x minus 32. And then that comes out to be 3x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 4x squared minus 40x minus 32. And then we'll do the sign changes again. So we have positive to negative, so that's one. Negative to positive, that's one. Positive to negative, that's another one. And then negative never gets done. So we have three, a potential for three, oops, three negative real zeros. Or um, we subtract by two for this one. So we could also have one uh, negative real zero as well. All right, so now uh, we're going to uh, do synthetic division. Oh no, actually I like, we'll do the P over Q. Uh, so we'll have to figure out uh, our next step for synthetic synthetic division. So we'll do our P over Q. So this is our P. We'll do this one. This is our P and this is our Q. And we have to factor these out. So it'll be the factor, you take the factors of 32. So it's 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, and 32. And then the factors of three are one and three. And then to find that, we'll do, uh, we'll do one over one, so that equals one. And then two over one is two, four over one is four, so on and so forth, eight, 16, and 32. And then we take the same numbers over three, and we'll get one third, two thirds, four thirds, eight thirds, 16 thirds, and 30 second thirds. All right, so all these numbers can be positive or negative. So we'll take these numbers and do a synthetic division into our original problem up here. So we'll start off with one because that's usually the easiest one to go with. So we'll go with positive one and then we'll plug each one back in. So we have three, positive 10, four, 40, and negative 32. And we'll bring down the three. Three times one is three. Uh, add that 13. 13 times one is 13. Add that is 17. 17 times one is 17. 40 plus 17 is 57. And then, and then we'll do that times one, 57. And that doesn't equal zero. We're looking for a remainder of zero. So negative one or a positive one won't work. So then we'll try another number. Um, obviously we're gonna have to go a little bit higher, or I guess in this case, probably lower because of a negative number. So we'll do negative four. Um, so we'll do negative four and then we plug the same problem back in. Three, 10, four, 40, negative 32. And then bring the three down. So negative four times three is negative 12. That equals negative two. Uh, negative two times negative four is uh, positive eight. So we'll do that's 12. Negative four and 12 is 48. 
or excuse me, negative 48, and then that will equal negative 8, and negative times a negative is a positive 32, and that will equal 0. So this is, a, uh, this will work, this will be one of our uh, zeros that we're going to use. Uh, so then we'll take, we'll take this solution and uh, we'll take this solution and then put our x's back in it and we'll figure out um, what our other zeros could be. So we'll have uh, x plus 4 and then take this answer. We'll do 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 8. And we'll set it all equal to 0. Uh, so this is the x plus 4 is fine, so we'll just ignore that for right now. And then, then we'll factor, we'll group these together and factor them out by uh, GCFs. So then we'll do x squared. We'll take the x squared out of this problem, so we'll get x squared. So we get 3x minus 2. And then for this one, we get, uh, we'll common factor for this one will be 4. So we'll do 4, and then that goes into 12 three times. So 3x minus 2 uh, equals 0. And I just see we have like terms and 3x uh, minus 2. So we'll take out those like terms and we'll go with x squared plus 4. And then uh, 3x minus 2. And then we'll bring down the x plus 4, and then we have these all set to 0. Um, we'll go back over here to this side. So then we do some simple math. We do x plus 4 equals 0, and then subtract 4 from both sides. So you get x equals negative 4. So that's one of our zeros. And then we'll do... We'll, let's do 3x minus 2. That'll be a little bit easier. So we'll do that. We'll add 2 to each side. So we get 3x equals positive 2. And x equals 2 over 3. So that is... That'll be, a, that'll be our one positive real zero. This will be our one, uh, one of our negative real zeros. So we can either have 1 or 3. And then we'll do the x squared plus 4 equals 0. We'll subtract 4 from each side. So we have x squared equals negative 4. And then we'll take the square root of each one. We'll just do it this way. Square root of each one. And then so we'll get x equals a uh, square root of a negative number. Give us an imaginary number. So that'll be 2. So it'll be plus or minus 2i. So then this gives us our other two zeros. So we have our four zeros are going to be x negative 4, which will be our one real negative zero, x to the third, which will be our one positive real zero, and then we have um, x equals plus or minus 2i, which gives us all four zeros. And we know we have four zeros because the degree of our original problem was raised to uh, the fourth power. So that's all four zeros you can have for this solution or for this problem. Thank you.